Hey, so I want to talk about four sweaters I'd like to knit right now. Greetings from sweater weather. It's definitely uh, time to pull out woolly warmth here in the prairies in Canada. So let's talk sweaters. Uh, let's start by talking about what I'm wearing. What I'm wearing is not technically a sweater at all. It's actually a poncho, but mm, kind of a sweater. It's called the Margot Poncho and I knit it out of Knit Picks Stroll Bear, which I had hand dyed and then I held it double. So this is sport weight. The pattern is written for a bulky and um, it has sort of a faux cable section down the center and then some more faux cabling going on here. You knit it in a big rectangle and then you put buttons down the center. So it's sort of this big oversized thing that is hard to describe. I knit it as part of the wearable blanket knit along that um, my sister and I did at we host the Imagine Landscapes audio podcast and we like doing knit alongs. And so we keep joking that I'm basically always on the lookout for a socially acceptable wearable blanket because I'm so cold all the time. So we had a wearable blanket knit along and I knit the Marco Poncho as part of that. But on to the sweaters I'd like to be knitting right now. The first one is called Camaro and it is knit by Tannis Lavallee. She's a Canadian designer and dyer you probably know better as Tannis Fiber Arts. Now this sweater has a nice amazing v-neck with um, a really incredible color sense. The picture for this pattern, actually all the pictures, really remind me of um, Critical Role which is a YouTube Twitch amazing thing. Anyways, they're on a couple platforms is what I'm trying to say. And Critical Role is a bunch of voice actors who get together and have been doing a really long running uh, campaign of Dungeons and Dragons. And it's some of the best watchable YouTube stuff. It's, um, it's definitely a few hours of commitment every week, but watching them play and do this constructed world of improv and adventure together and these people who are really fantastic actors and really good at voices is really enjoyable. Anyways, their um, beginning segment, their little like commercial, like, oh, I don't know what to call it. I'm totally blanking right now, but you know what I mean? Like the little intro b before their video is set like it's 1982 and Dungeons and Dragons has just like hit the, hit the mainstream with the whole, um, you know, the demonic fever dreams that everyone had and was all scared about. Anyways, they've got this super 80s look and this has got a super 80s look. I love it. It plays into me remembering what it was like to be about six years old and sort of paying attention to fashion and colors. This reminds me of being six and looking around at the teenagers around me who are babysitting me and going, wow, they're really cool. And they've got this really, the way the colors were and the posters looked and the, the art on things. Um, it is knit in DK weight. It's top down with this amazing v-neck that is then mirrored with the color choices. I love the one she's wearing that Tannis is wearing. It's got pink in it and pink is really not my thing, but I feel like to get the look and this beautiful 80s, early 80s retro feeling that I'd be wearing, willing to wear pink for this sweater. And now before we talk about the next sweater, I'm going to take my earrings off just in case they're clanging. So just give me a sec. Okay. Sweater number two is Humulus by Isabel Kramer. And I think Amy Florence on um, Stranded Podcast just finished knitting one. It is a worsted weight top down. Hmm. Let's look. Top down. Yes. <laughs> top down sweater um, with a really simple band of color work that is nonetheless incredibly um, evocative. I think it is a really cool line between sort of architectural and graphic design, kind of like um, ironwork, scroll, scroll work kind of things, and um, organic looking. It's beautiful. All the versions I like best don't have a really strong contrast. So like her version is sort of silver gray and yellow. The second one is kind of a mid taupe and a medium blue. So there's not a huge contrast. Really like this. I'm actually thinking of knitting it for my daughter. She's um, going to be 21 in February and I'm wondering if I can manage to get this one done for her before then given all the other things that I also need to be working on. Um, but this is one she approves of and we just need to settle on colors. And again, yarn shopping is never bad, right? Sweater number three that I'd love to knit right now, or actually have knit already, let's be honest. That's really what this is. This is a list of things that I've imaginarily knit already and would like to be wearing in reality. 
the Markley DK. So Markley has another weight. This is the DK version. It's knit by Elizabeth Doherty. And um, it is, it's an oversized sweater, but more like a sweatshirt and less like the boxy silhouette that's so popular right now. So it's kind of an in-between. I love the crisp braid that runs across the back shoulders. I also just like the idea of doing this much simple knitting, just really releasing into the stockinette and loving it. Um, I I've even got a yarn picked out. I would like to knit this in um, Sweet Georgia. And she's got an amazing uh, navy color called Marine. Um, and when I was in Vancouver, I actually did some shopping for colorways uh, so that when I got home and I started thinking about what I was gonna work on, I'd know which colors I like best because I have to do a lot of my shopping online since I don't really have a local yarn store here. The nearest one is a two and a half hour drive. So um, I'm thinking this in navy to make it one of those classic staple pieces that just will never really go out of style because sweatshirts are sweatshirts. You're always gonna wanna pull something on over jeans and jeans in navy, oh, it's just gorgeous. So that's Markley DK by Elizabeth Doherty. And the fourth and last pattern I wanna talk about today is Marion. Marion is a cardigan by Andy Satterland and it is knit in worsted weight. I have started getting into wearing dresses a little bit more lately. I've been ordering from this really amazing company called E Shakti. Oh, and I should say that links to everything I talk about are going to be down below. So don't worry about um, scribbling this down. E Shakti makes really amazing dresses. They almost all have pockets. And I got to tell you, like wearing dresses with pockets is so amazing. And the way they're constructed, I can have my cell phone in my pocket and be leading um, a meeting and no one knows it's there. It's the, the way they do the pockets, it's so basic. Anyways, I'm wearing more dresses. That's the important point. And yet I wanna be able to wear them into winter, but that's gonna mean uh, having a sweater and all the sweaters that I own that I try to put on with dresses, they look really sloppy and I don't understand what's going on, but I think what I need to do is knit stuff like this. Now, Marion falls at your natural waist rather than sort of like your jeans waist. Um, it's a, it's a, well, it's, I guess it's more of a cropped cardigan. It is um, a V-neck and there is a really cool twisted rope braid that zigzags and it goes up the cardigan and then up the V-neck. It's got, she's knit hers with sort of bracelet length sleeves. I think I would knit mine full because I am famous for being just frozen. 95% of the year. Um, my, I would have actually already cast Marion on, but I do not have worsted weight yarn in a color that's neutral enough that I think it would work with every dress I own. I think I need to knit like a medium gray, not quite charcoal, definitely not silver, but sort of like a little darker than medium. I don't know. I've got to find this yarn, obviously. Um, I think it needs to be a, a kind of a neutral gray, and then it would go with all the, 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 the dresses that I have that I'd love to drag as late into winter as I can. So that's Marion by Andy Satterland. So are you working on a sweater right now? I'd love to hear about it. I'm always on the lookout to do some imaginary knitting when it comes to sweaters. It's funny, I wear a lot of cardigans, but I imaginarily knit a lot of pullovers. I think I haven't yet found the perfect pullover for me, and I'm still looking for the, the fit, or maybe it's the weight, maybe I need to try sport weight, and everything I've done is it turns out to be worsted, or something like this. I'm still looking for the perfect pullover pattern for myself, or not even perfect, just like a great. So if you knit lots of cardigans, I get you. I wear cardigans all the time, but in my head, I'm always looking to knit pullovers. And when I'm like craving, oh, I wanna pull something on today, I'm always looking to pull on a pullover in my head. I don't know what that's about. Um, I look forward to hearing from you. If you like this, don't forget to hit like. I'd love it if you subscribed and um, hung around and talked to me. The cool thing about the internet is that even though that I am quite isolated in terms of where I am in North America, I still feel really connected to the absolutely amazing community of knitters. Happy knitting.